is like a sandwich of muscles. Um, so if you have a <coughs> can you see the straight the parallel lines? The parallel lines of the wing. I can't really. I need to be standing behind the light, but there's musculature and then there's blood blood vessels and nerves, um, and they use that to fly. And they're not like birds, which have so birds have air um, air sacs and hollow bones, but bats don't. So they rely on physiological adaptation. So they've got a super like a super duper big heart um, and super super big lungs, and they've also got specialised uh, blood that can carry extra oxygen. For reasons. And they're quite misunderstood. Most people don't get this opportunity to see them up close, and they're, they're quite. Um, I think they're pretty cute. What do you reckon? And if you have a look at her wing, it's just like our hands. That's her thumb down here, which is her thumb claw. And they're the finger bones. She's lost a few of her fingertips. Um, and that's her forearm, elbow, and shoulder. So it's the same same bits as you and me. It's just a little bit uh, a little bit modified for flight. So, so her mum was electrocuted on power lines, which is why a lot of them come into care, and particularly around this time of the year. So if you find a if you see it, notice a dead bat on power lines. Um, it's really important at this time of the year that you call it into one of the rescue groups, and we liaise with the power company. When I say that they're large scale, long distance pollinators and seed dispersers, I mean really, really long distance. Um, and no other species, uh, no other species does that across such long distances. And a lot of the species of gum trees actually just they release their pollen at night time, so they've got well, well, the flying foxes. So and birds aren't awake at that time, so if we lost our flying foxes, we would lose that service um, in the environment. I don't know about you, but I prefer not to be hand hand pollinating the gum trees. Um, so they're really important.